Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Zer Icon. So I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce the name, but it's Icon by Zer, which is how I think it's pronounced. So here is what the box looks like. Nothing really special. It's black. This is the name of it in silver. The ingredients at the back, nothing special written on box. The inside of the box is interesting. It's just like that little thing. Usually it's like another cover that opens, but this one is just like some, I don't know, space to put the bottle. And for the bottle itself, and the bottle is really heavy. And I don't know, it's opaque. I cannot see through it, but I would assume that if I drop it, it should be able to survive the drop. The cap is magnetic, but it's not a strong magnetic. It's just like, it's not like super weak, but it's not a super strong magnetic cap, but it's still nice because it's a cheap fragrance. The cap itself also is really heavy. So let's try the smell. So when I spray it on paper, there's a little bit of soapiness in the air, but like it's really, really, really soft. I think it's just there to balance the fragrance, make it a bit more nice for people. It's still like a designer fragrance, so they want to make it the more mass appealing possible. But I wouldn't call it a soapy fragrance, though it has soapy aspect. What I'm picking up in the air, it's mostly spices and scents. On paper, there is a lot of clove, a lot of cinnamon, a lot of lemon and a lot of ginger. Fragrance feel really different on paper than on my skin. It feels really fresh. It's darker on my skin than what it is on paper. Fragrance itself almost feel cold because of the freshness. Picking up some woodiness. And that's about it. On my skin, what I'm picking up, there's a lot of incense, a lot of cardamom, and a lot of lemon. And those are the three main player there. Also, I'm picking up a lot of ginger, a lot of clove, and a lot of cinnamon. And I'm picking up a little bit of cedar, a little bit of vetiver, and a little bit of artemisia. As it dry down in the heart, I'm picking up a lot of incense and a lot of clove. And also, I'm picking up a little bit of cedar, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vetiver, and a little bit of orris. And in the base note, I'm picking up a lot of incense, a lot of cedar, and a lot of vetiver. Projection is pretty good. A good six feet around me, people were able to pick it up. Longevity was like a little bit over the average. Lasted maybe around seven hours. I put like three to six hour on Fragrantica, but it went over it. Not like over enough to put it as seven to 12 hours it was average, but just a little bit better than average. For the complete note breakdown, top notes are cardamom, ginger, lemon, and artemisia. Heart notes are clove, cinnamon, French labdanum and auris. The base notes are incense, cedar, vetiver, amber, and patchouli. And where would see this fragrance? I would say because it's spicy, there's some incense, some smokiness. It will be a really great business fragrance. It's also, it's really bold. It's really interesting. It's really masculine. It shows some power and it will be great for a business scent. I'm not quite sure it will be good as a dating fragrance. I think if you really love spices, you could pull it off probably as a clubbing fragrance could be good because it project well, but uh, I wouldn't put it as that type of fragrance. You'll be able to pull it off, but it's not there. In the winter summer spectrum, I would say it's more toward winter. It should be pretty good to cut the cold in winter. Summer it might be a bit too intense, really spicy and sweetness. I think it might be a bit too much. It's not like super sweet. There's like a tiny bit of sweetness, but maybe in summer it might be a bit too much. I don't think it'll be good in summer. And as an everyday scent, I think if you're into spicy and bold scent, you could pull it off. It's There's a little bit of soapiness, a little bit of cleanness, but it's still dark and spicy. So I would put it as an everyday scent. 
but it would be like a really bold everyday scent but it will still technically be in that category. The only bad thing is it don't last quite the whole day, but you can still reapply it. The fragrance is cheap. And even though it's bold, I don't think it's something that people will really be offended. I know the note of incense. Sometimes people don't like it. Also the note of vetiver. But I don't think it's like crazy enough to intense on this to be disliked. There's a lot of fragrance with vetiver that are loved, also some with incense. So I don't think like those notes are too powerful to make people dislike it. It's really interesting for me. This fragrance is more of like a, a bold fragrance made to be mass appealing. This is the best way I can describe it. Still bold, but still somewhat mass appealing and interesting. It's a nice fragrance to wear. And I don't think it's something I will like wear all the time, but because of bottle is sturdy, it's kind of small. It's probably something that I go on a trip or something like that. I don't want to bring my more expensive bottle in case I break it. It's probably something that I would bring for a trip and really enjoy. And overall, I think it's a great scent. It's nice and they did a good job. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, well, like and share. If you try this fragrance, tell me what you think about it. Also, if you tried other fragrances by that company, tell me which other are really great. It's the first one I try and could it be nice to try one or two other one eventually. So, thanks for watching. And see you soon.